The deep ocean is the last frontier for humankind. Keep in mind, only 5% of Earth's oceans have been explored and charted. Especially the ocean below the surface. There are secrets kept there that not even our wildest dreams can match. Secrets that we might not be supposed to know. From an entire forgotten city to a gigantic body part that not only shouldn't exist, but shouldn't be in the ocean either, here are the 20 strangest things found by deep sea divers. Number 20. Apollo 11 Engines When you think about treasures under the sea, you normally think of sunken ships of gold. But would you ever think of spacecraft? Well, billionaire Amazon founder Jeff Bezos did. Back in 2012, Bezos was thinking about the Apollo 11 space mission in 1969. When the Apollo 11 mission took off from Earth, the Saturn V spacecraft used five F-1 engines to propel itself into the atmosphere. Burning for just a few minutes, they plunged back down to Earth into the Atlantic Ocean. They were thought to never be seen again. That was until Bezos came up with the idea of locating them and bringing them to the surface. Lying 14,000 feet below the surface, Bezos and his team had to use state-of-the-art deep-sea sonar to locate them. What they found was described by Bezos as an underwater wonderland. He was right. The beautiful footage of the deep sea recovery is eerily like a space mission itself. Amongst the blackness of the deep sea, the mission recovered enough engine parts to rebuild two Saturn V F1 engines. NASA still retains ownership of the parts, but donated one of the engines to the Smithsonian's National Air and Space Museum in Washington, D.C. A remarkable story of lost space found in the deep sea. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the star topic. This picture is absolutely terrifying. It was taken by a group of Japanese marine biologists when they were following a group of blue whales in their yearly migration. Nobody knows what the creature is, it has never been seen before. But to put things into perspective, the bloody thing that the monster is holding in between its massive jaws is actually the carcass of a blue whale. Meaning this thing is a lot larger than the largest animal on Earth known to man. Some people think it might be Godzilla that awoke from its decades-long hibernation, while some others think it might be a horrible mutation gone wrong. Diver certainly captured what no one was supposed to see. Comment down below with the hashtag StarTopic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 19. Lost City there's something about underwater archaeology that is magical. Legend or reality has always been the question as to whether the lost city of Thonis Heracleion ever existed. One of the largest ports in Egypt, controlling all the trade into Egypt as long ago as the pharaohs, it was gradually destroyed over time by natural disasters. A number of tsunamis, earthquakes, and rising sea levels eventually submerged the city to the depths of the Mediterranean Sea more than 2,000 years ago. French archaeology archaeologist Frank Gaudio dedicated his life to finding this lost city. After years of searching the Mediterranean by screening the vast area off the coast of Egypt, they finally saw a gigantic face emerge from the dark waters. What a sight to behold! Gaudio had finally discovered the lost city of Thonis Heracleion. Completely submerged 6.5 kilometers off Alexandria's coast was the most beautiful site of underwater ruins. What he encountered was far more than treasure and absolute beauty to any diver or archaeologist's eyes. With 64 ships, 700 anchors, a treasure chest of gold coins, 16 foot statues, amongst others. The most amazing find was the massive temple to the god Amun Garib. The city was built around the temple with a crisscross network of canals, much like the Venice we know today. Simply sublime. Imagine swimming around an ancient city with fishes. Number 18. 
F4U Corsair Aircraft. What is one man's disaster can become an animal's paradise. In this case, about 115 feet down below the sea surface is a plane with a garden of eels. That's right, a plane wreck in Oahu, Hawaii has become the home of many sea animals and therefore the paradise for divers and photographers alike. During World War II, on a standard mission, a Vought F-4U Corsair ran out of fuel just off the southeast coast of Oahu. The pilot had no choice but to put the wheels up and guide the plane to a soft water landing. Undamaged but not buoyant, the plane sank gracefully to the bottom of the ocean. The pilot was saved by his life jacket, so hey, quick reminder, wear your life jackets, people. You never know. Decades later, the 33-foot-long plane's wreckage has become a famous dive site. Only accessible by boat and for professional divers, it is a beautiful underwater paradise that is worth all the effort. Lying so deep with harsh currents, it only attracts hard coral fish, turtle, and eel colonies. If you're feeling adventurous and you really want to try your luck, try and visit during winter. The cold season finds whales taking shelter on or near the wreckage. A World War II plane underwater with whales. That is an awesome sight to see. Number 17. Crop Circles We've all heard of crop circles in the fields and the theories of aliens making them. It turns out it was just a bit of farmer's fun. But are aliens underwater? Well, in 2012, a story started circulating about underwater crop circles. Japanese photographer Yoji Ukata discovered these beautiful patterns whilst diving on the southern tip of Japan near Amami, Oshima. Yoji was fascinated by these rippling geometric sand patterns. Measuring nearly 6 feet in diameter and almost 80 feet below sea level, they are wonderful. What on earth, or in the sea, could have made these? Yoji was so intrigued, he decided to return with a television crew to investigate further. Through underwater cameras, they discovered the artist was not an alien, but a cute little puffer fish. As we watched the little worker tirelessly swimming back and forth day and night, we realized that, incredibly, he's using just his flapping fin to carve the circular ridges. The fish even takes small shells and cracks them before lining the inner grooves as decoration. But why? Well, of course, it's for a lady. Apparently, the females are attracted to the circles, so they come to mate and lay eggs. The mating rituals of nature never cease to amaze. Gentlemen, you have some work to do to attract your ladies. Take a bow, Mr. Pufferfish. Brilliant engineering, sir. Number 16. Giant Jellyfish Sometimes, diving can bring us the most wonderful sightings of nature. When divers Dan Abbott and Lizzie Daly were diving off the British coast, they never expected to be as awestruck as the encounter they had left them. Just near Falmouth, Cornwall, they came across a barrel of jellyfish. This massive, parachute-looking jellyfish was just gliding along elegantly like a huge, transparent mushroom in murky waters. The contrast between animal and human is mind-blowing. Dan and Lizzie were traveling around the British Isles as part of Wild Ocean Week to show that incredible wildlife is everywhere, not just in exotic places. They sure got lucky with their find here. Lizzie said it was the biggest jellyfish she had ever seen, and it looks huge compared to her. We can see just how huge it is when we see how Dan has filmed her swimming alongside it. What an amazing sight. A large barrel jellyfish can weigh up to 35 kilograms and, because of their size, are also known as dustbin lid jellyfish. Such grace, such beauty, it doesn't seem justified to name it after a dustbin. Thank you, Dan and Lizzie, for bringing this to the world. We didn't even have to get wet or risk being stung to see it. Number 15. An Underwater River when you're a diver, you're often between two worlds, the deep blue ocean and the world as we know it. But in this remarkable location in Mexico, even in the deep blue ocean, you can find yourself seemingly swimming in two mixed worlds. Just 15 minutes from Tulum in the Yucatan Peninsula is one of the most mind-blowing of diving spots. An underwater river flowing 180 feet below the ocean surface. How can that be? Yeah. Fresh water can exist in salt water. It's a phenomenon that's created by a layer of hydrogen sulfate that separates the fresh water from the salt water. 
This creates a magical cloud layer called a halocline. Science aside, it creates a beautiful, mystical dive. Cenote Angelina, meaning little angel in Spanish, clearly is an angelic experience. This is a natural sinkhole formed when groundwater is exposed by collapsing limestone bedrock nearly 6,500 years ago. The result is something even a fantasy film could never imagine. Once you descend through the cloud, you come across a ghostly scene of fallen trees and banks, just like a real river caught in the mist. Not only a magical dive, the location was once used by the Maya for sacrificial offerings. How cool is that? Some of the photos taken here are stunningly beautiful. Who wants to go? I do. Number 14. SS City of Cairo We've all heard of the Titanic, but have you heard of the SS City of Cairo? On November 6, 1942, a horrible tragedy occurred. At 8.30 in the evening, the British passenger and cargo ship SS City of Cairo was torpedoed by the submarine U-68. Ten minutes later, a second torpedo was fired, and the ship descended to the depths of the mid-Atlantic Ocean. Carrying 296 souls, not everyone survived. A total of 104 people died, including 79 crew, 3 gunners, and 22 passengers. The tragedy left the sunken ship at the bottom of the ocean for decades. It wasn't until 2011 that the Deep Ocean Search Team decided to conduct a search for the ship. With water depth that could exceed 5,000 meters and with swells and currents that were known to be treacherous, it was always going to be a dangerous search. With the most recent high-tech equipment, the first views showed the ship broken in two and buried in the deep sea floor silt. Despite the sights reflecting the tragedy decades before, there's some strange macabre obsession with the shipwreck. Maybe it was the near 100 tons of silver silver coins that were recovered. A record for the deepest salvage haul ever. But there still remains some about the 104 souls that still rings eerie in the ears. May you all rest in peace. Number 13. Bimini Road The Mysterious Bimini Road it has been a long-debated diving spot as to whether this is part of the ancient myth Atlantis or just natural beach rock. Marine ecologists and divers alike have been fascinated by the Bimini Road, or sometimes called the Bimini Wall in the Bahamas, since the 1960s. Man-made or a cause of nature. Composed of rectangular limestone rocks nearly a kilometer in length, many divers and historians believe the wall to have been man-made to protect a civilization from waves. The structure's built in two tiers and allegedly built by humans. But many scientists continue to refute this claim, and many geologists still claim the structure's just natural limestone. But how could such a road in the clear shape of a U be natural? The debate continues over decades. There are arguments for the claims of human origin, and there are arguments confirming a geological explanation. Whatever the truth is, it is still a beautiful, intriguing sight that still, to this day, begs the question, who built Bimini Road 10,000 years ago, and why? Is it really the remains of Atlantis? Until there's concrete evidence, the fish don't care. They'll continue to swim through every nook and cranny to enjoy their playground, man-made or natural. Number 12. Human Skulls Sometimes, diving can give us a fascinating insight into our human existence and history. That was the case when Bradley Russell went diving in one of many cenotes, sinkholes in English, in the Yucatan Peninsula. Diving can be dangerous at the calmest of times, but imagine plunging yourself into a hole in the ground and swimming through holes just the size of your body. You do not want to be claustrophobic. As they swim through these dark holes and through into the murky caves, what awaits them is a 10,000 year old history. The history is in fact the skulls of some of the earliest inhabitants of Mexico. Another diver, Alex Alvarez, and his team found one skull in particular that they believe to be of a 30 year old woman with three distinct blows to the skull and crater-like deformations. Sadly, she did not have a pleasant end to her life. The lesions, they believe, could have been caused from a bacterial relative of syphilis. One theory was that she was left in the cave to die, or even bashed to death. That 
poor woman. There are many skeletons in the cave that had never been seen by man since nearly 10,000 years ago. It is truly amazing what we can find underwater when we have the courage to go everywhere. Number 11. M.S. Zenobia Divers also have top 10s, and the Swedish-built Zenobia wreck near Cyprus is often voted in the top 10 wreck dives in the world. On June 7, 1980, only one year old and on her maiden voyage, the MS Zenobia encountered an error with its computerized pumping system. It ended up pumping excess water into her ballast. Luckily, it took long enough for all passengers and crew to get to safety. Capsizing into the Mediterranean Sea near Larnaca, she came to rest 42 meters below sea level on her port side. The 172-meter-long ferry carrying 108 articulated lorries lay there eerily. With all the lorries and lifeboats lifelessly waiting for marine life to take over, it soon became a haven for fish like groupers, barracudas, tuna, turtles, and triggerfish. The list is, in fact, of endless beauty. They really made every little cavern of the wreck their home. No wonder that it soon became so popular with divers. Add to that the 40-meter visibility with few currents and warm water, and it is an ideal site for all qualified divers. It is its unique mixture of shipwreck and trucks that gives it that graveyard feel and makes it a playground for divers. Number 10. Ancient Mine the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico is known for some of the best diving spots in the world. Sometimes the dives become more than just exploration, but also history making. In spring 2017, Fred Davos and Sam Meacham descended into the Maya caves and discovered a mine, La Mina. The astonishing, history-making dive discovered hammers crafted out of broken stalagmites and stalactites and rocks scattered all over the place. Tons and tons of sediment had been removed from this cave. It was ochre, a natural clay pigment. They had used the beautiful stalagmites to pound out the ochre from the floors of the caves in order to mine ochre. At approximately 11,000 years old, this would be the America's oldest ochre mine. It took the divers a lot of bravery to squeeze through the tight holes and into the murky waters. But imagine the insane bravery of these miners in the dark hundreds of meters below the ground without any light. The beautiful colors of the underwater caves were like a time capsule from thousands of years ago, a sprawling labyrinth of beauty and history. Once again, divers contribute immensely to the discovery of history and continue to help archaeologists worldwide. Meacham found it, quote, electrifying to be the first people to enter an area that has not seen humans for thousands of years. We couldn't agree more. Number 9. The Ghost Fleet of Truk Lagoon Turtles, manta rays, sharks, hundreds of types of fish, and sea ghosts. Yeah, sea ghosts. For many divers, Truk Lagoon, known as Chuk in Micronesia, is a place where you can lose yourself and think you're amongst the sea ghosts. The fact that you're swimming amongst a ghost fleet of cars, tanks, planes, and boats mixed with bullets, skulls, torpedoes, and everything else can't help your mindset either. There is everything to remind yourself of the grim truths of war. The American Operation Hailstone in 1944 was a bombardment lasting for three days. It wiped out a whopping 60 ships and 275 airplanes, which all sank to the bottom of the ocean. It has to be the largest graveyard of ships and vehicles in the underwater world. For many years, divers feared adventuring down there in case they set off a bomb. Many swear the waters are haunted by the 3,000 people that were believed to have been killed in the attack. They believe that they have seen human-like images moving fast through waters. What do you think, nitrogen narcosis or an overactive imagination? It certainly looks frightening and eerie to us in any case. Only the fish don't seem scared. A creepy but enthralling underwater adventure in shark-infested waters is why Truk Lagoon is potentially the best destination in the world for divers. Are you ready for it? Number 8. The Caesarea Sunken Treasure 
Shiny gold coins lying at the bottom of the ocean, something that all young children dream and read about. It's been estimated that around $2.6 billion of gold is under the sea worldwide. That is a lot of gold. But what has actually been found? And imagine if you weren't even looking for it. Well, sometimes it's all about timing. In 2015, with a metal detector in hand, a scuba diving archaeology club were diving off the Israeli coast in an ancient harbor in Caesarea. With a stirred up ocean floor from the previous night's storm, they stumbled across what they thought at first were children's toy coins. Gleaming and shining in their hands, they had in fact found over 2,000 very valuable gold coins. They later discovered they were over a thousand years old, dating back to the 10th and 12th centuries. They had hit the treasure trove jackpot. But whose treasure trove was it? The coins belonged to the Fatimid Caliphs Al-Hakim and his son Al-Zahir. But why so many in one place? Well, there are a few theories, from a boat carrying taxes, or a merchant boat with its trade, or even the money was meant to pay the Fatimids garrison to protect Caesarea. In any case, it never made it to the destination and now belongs to the state of Israel. Lucky them. Number 7. The Baltic Sea Anomaly how cool would it be if we were to ever find an alien spaceship at the bottom of the ocean? Well, in 2011, just off Sweden, a deep sea team discovered a 200 foot diameter shape lying 300 feet below sea level in the Baltic Sea. News stories quickly started breaking, alluding that aliens could be responsible. The weird thing is, it resembled the Millennium Falcon from Star Wars, but Han Solo would never sink the Falcon. But seriously, what is it? The head of the Ocean X Exploration Group put it down to a natural creation, probably made by a biochemical process as such objects are in the Baltic Sea. However, they're never normally this large. Wait, it gets even more interesting. Composed of iron, magnesium, and titanium, it has strange communications. When everyone on board turned off their cell phones and they turned off all the equipment on the boat, they could still hear a signal of 40 megahertz strong. The nearest lighthouse is 20 nautical miles away, but their equipment can only measure up to a maximum of 1.5 nautical miles. Uh-oh. They then found a second monolith-shaped creation 90 feet long, and then a series of peaks. Samples taken lean towards possible volcanic rock formed during the Ice Age, but it's not conclusive. Who knows? Maybe it's aliens or the Twilight Zone. Number 6. Giant Oarfish Not all of the underwater finds are by divers. Have you ever seen a giant oarfish? Typically, they are considered a deep sea fish. They swim around 200 meters deep, but can lurk up to 1,000 meters underwater, so you rarely get a chance to see them. They are known to reach up to a huge 36 meters long. That's nearly prehistoric in size. But looking like an oversized snake, they are beautiful sea monsters. So imagine the big surprise kayakers in Mexico had when they came across not one, but two oarfish, both measuring over four meters long. To be a witness to these magnificent leviathans is truly an honor. But as they seemed in trouble, the kayakers did their best to usher them back into the sea, but sadly, to no avail. They eventually washed up and could not be saved. Sometimes you don't even have to be in the water to see them. Tragically, they're sometimes found dead on a beach as they head inland when injured or dying. In 2013, an 18-foot-long oarfish washed ashore a beach in Catalina Island off the coast of California. Very rarely have oarfish been filmed so close. It's such a shame that each time, it's normally when they're about to die. Number 5. A Giant Eyeball now let's take things in a bit of a different direction. Divers, as humans, are unnatural in the deep blue sea compared to marine life. Not just for the fact that we can't breathe underwater without breathing apparatus, but also because of our size. Let's put this into context. 
Picture a beautiful Florida beach. White sand, cocktails, everyone having a great time. But then, all of a sudden, you discover a giant eyeball washed up on the beach. Yeah, and when we say giant, we are talking about the size of a basketball. It created a buzz on the internet as everyone was trying to decipher where it came from. Tests at the university were inconclusive. Some thought it was that of a giant squid, but the wildlife officers ended up leaning more towards a large fish, quite probably that of a swordfish. In comparison, our eyes are only a tenth of this size. So just imagine being a diver looking eye to eye with a giant squid or a swordfish. I bet he'd win the staring competition. That being said, which poor fish lost his eye, and how did it get on the beach? Pretty sure it wasn't a diver winning the fight here, but something much larger from the deep blue sea. It sure was a beautiful eye, though, and that's no pickup line. Although, uh, if whoever lost that eye is watching this video, you know, maybe give me a call. Number 4. Animals Chained Up We've all seen divers being heroes and helping sharks or dolphins or turtles caught up in fishing nets, the horrible victims of the fishing industry. But what if the animals were chained up on purpose? That's just pure cruelty. Who would do that? In 2016, divers swimming near the remote island of Kokoya, Indonesia, discovered a horrifying act of tourism. Two dugongs were found chained up in a cage, a mother and her calf. Dugongs are beautiful sea creatures from the manatee family. It's unclear how long they'd been in captivity, but they had obviously been struggling. Both had deep cuts and scars from the chains as they limped around the cage tied by their tails. It appears a local fisherman had caught them and chained them up for tourists to come and see. They were cold-heartedly asking money for pictures of them. After the fishermen had their cruelty pointed out to them, they said they would release them. But with their doubts, the divers released the video to social media. Luckily, it was seen by authorities who quickly headed to the site and released them back into the ocean. When out diving, you don't expect to see caged animals. Diving's all about seeing marine life in their natural habitats. Let's make sure we don't see any more of this. Number 3. The Pyramid of Yanaguni An underwater pyramid off the coast of Japan. How cool is that? The island of Yanaguni is the westernmost island of Japan. In the 1980s, it was already a very popular dive site for divers looking to experience swimming with hammerhead sharks. Already a pretty cool dive site. But it wasn't until 1986 that Kihachiro Aritake discovered this incredibly strange-looking monument. Straight away, he nicknamed it the Underwater Machu Picchu. Sitting only 5 meters below the surface, it's believed that it was constructed around 10,000 BC in the Ice Age. Since the discovery, there's been a debate as to whether it's man-made or formed naturally. What do you think? Surely it looks too perfectly angled not to be man-made. Look at all the different constructions and engravings. It's beautiful. Professor Masaki Kimura believed it was made of layers of sandstone and mudstone. They even found stone tools and artifacts and tablets with engravings. Could this be the Japanese Atlantis? The whole city, for want of a better word, has a pyramid, arches, steps, stadium terraces, and a pool. Most people tend to believe that it's a natural monolith carved into a city by man. Archaeologists and scientists continue to debate. Whatever it is, it is, again, proof that the underwater world has a lot more to be explored and teach us about history. Mind-blowing stuff. Number 2. Lion City Underwater cities seem to be everywhere. Here we find the Atlantis of the East. However, unlike the mythical Atlantis, the city of Xicheng was purposefully flooded in 1959 to make way for the Xenon Dam project. Xicheng, Lion City in Mandarin, stands perfectly preserved 40 meters underwater. It can be found at the bottom of Xiandao Lake. The water actually protects it from the wind, sun, and rain erosion. Imagine how beautiful it would be swimming in and around the streets of this lost city. Xiandao Lake is also known as Thousand Island Lake with all its many islands covering 221 square miles. But Lion City is what everyone comes for. This once majestic city now lives below the water. It's believed to have been built during the Tang Dynasty nearly 1400 years ago. It was rediscovered in 
in 2001 and later declared a historical relic. No surprise there, it is stunning. A maze of white temples, houses decorated with classical Chinese statues of guardian lions, dragons, and phoenixes. You can feel the presence of the 300,000 people that used to live there but had to be relocated. Its huge size is more than 60 football fields in length, so it'll take many dives to fully explore. But imagine the eeriness as you trespass through this ancient abandoned city. It's a shame that we sacrifice such beauty in the search of progress for humankind. Number 1. The Titanic RMS Titanic has to be the most famous shipwreck of all time. If you don't know the story, here's a quick recap. During her maiden voyage on the 15th of April 1915, she struck an iceberg in the northern Atlantic. As she slowly and inevitably sank to the bottom of the ocean, more than 1,500 of the 2,240 passengers and crew tragically drowned with her. First discovered in 1985 by Dr. Bollard and a team of researchers, the ship lies nearly 4,000 meters below sea level, and it was therefore thought to be impossible to dive to. I mean, you would die of hypothermia and many other things on your way down. In 2004, they returned back to the site with remotely operated vehicles to film some breathtaking footage showing the ship still intact but covered in rusticles after decades of being by herself. However, extreme diver and notably relevant filmmaker James Cameron undertook the challenge to dive to the Titanic. After years of preparation and spending a whopping $200 million in the process, he took a deep-sea submersible down to the Titanic. From there, with a special chamber that serves as both an airlock and a toilet, he was able to spend a few minutes exploring the upper deck of the ship. Truly amazing that he survived. Knowing that so many people died during that disaster makes the image even more poignant. As you can see, <laughs> The deep blue sea is a very scary place full of secrets. What do you think we'll find when we finally find a way to explore the deepest parts of the ocean? Tell us about it. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.